scattered among the mausoleums and gravestones, more than a handful of artists set up their easels and set out to create on a cool, sunny morning at Akron's historic Glendale Cemetery. It sort of helps to feed your soul in this year, especially because everyone's lives have changed and there's so many restrictions on what we used to do before COVID hit that being outdoors and you know, being able to safely socialize and having contact with other people, it's just, it's just been so psychologically healthy. Besides bringing along a mask and minding social distance, not much has changed for the Cuyahoga Valley area plein air painters. Betty Siska organizes this group with members living in several different Northeast Ohio counties. They come together on Wednesday mornings, typically from May through October, and visit various locations around the region. It's taking your, your medium of choice outdoors and enjoying the sounds of the birds and the feel of the air on your skin, um, the warmth of the sun. Plain air painting, or plein air as the French would say, was popularized by the Impressionists in the 1800s. This local painting group evolved from another Medina resident Dave Fawcett helped start years ago with the same intent of gathering to create outdoors. Much of my painting may not be totally true to the scene, but it's more of how I feel about what I'm looking at, and that, because I paint loose, kind of. So uh, yeah, for me, it's just, uh, it's exhilarating. This year, Dave's granddaughter, Amanda, joined him for the weekly painting sessions. I actually returned from the Peace Corps earlier this year. There was a global evacuation due to COVID, so I came back under these circumstances several months earlier than I would have otherwise. So having this plein air painting session weekly as an outlet has been just awesome, not only for getting to know some different natural areas, uh, parks and preserves in Northeast Ohio, also to develop the skill, which is uh, painting outdoors, using oil paints, which I hadn't really used in the past. And yeah, also to spend um, this time with my grandfather. Amanda spent her time in the cemetery painting her own interpretation of the pathway along the bell tower. Working outdoors plein air painting allows me, really challenges me to loosen up my style and adjust to the changing light and paint quickly to really capture a scene because you know the sun is coming up the sky is changing um, the scene is changing before your eyes so yeah to finish a painting in two hours is something completely new to me because otherwise i'd be spending like several hours just pouring over a piece nearby bob mauer of canton sketched the exterior of a civil war memorial chapel before adding watercolors I was just taken by the architecture because architecture is one of my favorite subjects to paint, uh, whether it's a plain and simple barn or something intricate like this. And it was very intricate, so it was a challenging for the drawing. After the drawing, the painting's easy. <laughs> just getting it the right proportions and to fit on the paper right. So that's that's what I usually strive for as a as a architectural piece of some kind. And uh, so what am I going to do with it? I have no idea, but <laughs> uh, I'll add it to the hundreds of other paintings that I have no idea what to do with it. Just have to do them. Bob belongs to a few plein air groups and has been painting outdoors since he first got started in 1972. There's just some unknown quality that just sitting there, you just capture more of the scene, uh, what's important in the scene. And there's, it's so much easier to see it than through photographs. And of course, it's also working fast as far as the watercolors for me, that, that, show, that shows a painting of spontaneity and it, you can't beat that. You can't, I can't seem to get that in the studio where I'm 
concentrating is more like uh, going for perfection rather than spontaneity. <laughs> <laughs>